you are my Tyson fan, but if we being honest, Floyd, he got a better resume than Tyson. Listen, I'm I'm not I'm not going I'm not going to sit here in front like Floyd ain't the shit. He's just not exciting. He's just not an exciting fighter. He's a defensive fighter. You know, he's not an exciting guy. He's not a knockout artist. He's very he's a technician. He's very tactical. He's just not interesting. You know, and 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 for anybody that wants to go on the fact that yo, he's got a an untouched blemish, perfect record. Okay, give me a nigga with some mistakes. That's more exciting. I'll take some mistakes over perfection if you're gonna give me excitement. What's 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 better? Young virgin pussy or pussy that's been tested? You virgin pussy come with a lot of ouchies. Ooh, stop. I don't know. Blown open pussy, it's ready. Give me mistakes, give me bullet wounds, stretch marks. You know, Floyd walks around with all the Louis shit on, the Gucci shit on, bragging about how much money he got, walking around with a backpack of a million dollars. Well, you look at a guy like Muhammad Ali, who was all about the people, people in poverty, being a being a being a, a pie piper for the for the for the unfortunate and, and people that are poverty stricken and hungry. You know, he was a he was a true humanitarian. Whereas personality wise, Floyd Mayweather comes off like a fucking douche. So again, if we talking strictly boxing, then that don't mean shit. But if you want to throw that into the mix, well then, you know, that's why people have a love for Ali. Because Ali was more than just a boxman, boxer. He was a statesman. This nigga was a pie piper for poverty and for, and for the voiceless. He stood for something. What does Floyd Mayweather stand for besides, look at my 18th Bugatti. Look at my watch. But if we just talking about boxing, Floyd, besides all the stuff he did outside the ring, he definitely a top 10 or top 5 boxer of all time. That nigga should get a diamond-crusted book. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. Show that off, nigga. Show you can read diamond pages. Oh, shit. Yo, man. Hey. Uh, hey. I feel you, man. I feel you. One thing I did want to ask you about, because I posted a video on my IG of Mike Tyson and Kenny Thompson, an interview they did, and you reposted that video on your IG. How did you feel about the interview? Because the conversation got real intense about the word nigga. I loved it. Um, I understood both sides, and I don't think that there's uh, any winner in that. I, th I, th I could see Mike's perspective, and I could see Kenan's perspective. I thought it was a bar uh, when Mike said, you don't know my shadow, nigga. That that had that was so deep to me, you know, coming from who that came from. Uh, that was almost like a, a nice game of uh, chess because then Keenan came back with, uh, well, you can't have shadow without light. So that was like nigga checkmate. Uh, and the fact that he was bold enough to stand in his position, given that that was Mike Tyson. But what was Mike really going to do? Like it, unless he disrespected his his family or some shit or his kids. What was Mike going to hit him? You know what I mean? That wouldn't have boded well at all for Mike. Uh, but again, the fact that Keenan stood his ground was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, you got to respect that, man. He didn't fold. He stood his ground. I agree, man. Because most people in that situation would have folded. Most people would have agreed with Tyson out of fear. Like, like T.K. Kirkland did. Did you see that clip? Yeah, I seen the interview. So you feel like TK Kirkland folded when he was speaking to Mike Tyson in the interview? You feel like he folded? When I was talk when I was talking to Mike? No, no, TK, TK Kirkland. Oh, you could see it. You could see it. Well, Mike urgh, TK went, yeah, 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 yeah. You could see it.